Let me uh, start this video over since I got a phone call during the first recording. Um, I haven't done an update. It's it's really hard to talk, but um, I originally intended to do a weekly update during my treatment. And uh, well, I'm on week three now, and I haven't done a single update. On the first week, I had chemo and radiation. On the second night of chemo, I got an infection that made my neck swell up really, really bad. And by the fifth day, I was in the hospital where I spent four or five nights, I think. And uh, if you get an infection while getting chemo and radiation, that's really bad. It can actually be life-threatening. So uh, I got sent home with some antibiotics um, after I was in there for a while and uh, the second week of just radiation only everything seemed to be going well or at least better than the first week um, until Saturday and uh, might be TMI but I'll just tell you right now that on Saturday when I woke up I had the worst hemorrhoids ever like so bad I couldn't even walk or sit and uh, over-the-counter drugs just didn't seem like they were working but the doctors prescribed lidocaine as a mouthwash for my throat to numb it and I actually found if I mixed lidocaine in with the hemorrhoid over-the-counter or to whatever the hell it is, preparation H, then that would numb the hemorrhoids and I would get 15 or 20 minutes of release, relief. So now we're in the second day of the third week and the, the swelling that was in my neck is mostly gone. And also the... Uh, lymph node that was on the opposite side has gone down and actually the cancer growth has reduced in size also so uh so far this week hasn't been too bad not as bad as the first week and not as bad as the second week i'm doing radiation only on week three the inside of my mouth has been raw I guess I started toward the end of the second week and uh, it makes it hard to eat or swallow um, all my taste buds are shot nothing tastes the same except honey honey still tastes like honey so I found that no matter what kind of food I'm eating for instance today this morning for breakfast I had a single biscuit with sausage gravy and then I just pour honey on it and that makes it palatable um, also to help with the hemorrhoids I started eating yogurt every day yogurt by itself no matter what kind of yogurt tastes god awful but if you put enough honey in it, it tastes like honey, and it's palatable. Um, I can't eat anything that is in a metal can, and I can't use metal utensils. That also started during week two. Anything from a can or metal utensils has a god-awful metallic taste. Um, I have told people... If you drink iodine, that's probably what it tastes like. Um, so, it's been hard to find foods that you can eat. Like, the first week I was able to eat chocolate pudding, but not the second or third week. And, uh, something you like today, for instance, when I was in the hospital, I had a scrambled egg with peppers and onions and cheese and I was able to eat it the first day 
so I ordered it the second day and I couldn't eat even one bite. Um, the radiation and the chemo destroys cells in your body and they have to regenerate and uh, your taste buds are one of the first things to go. So even foods that you love, like pizza, um, it's pretty disheartening to take a bite of pizza and it tastes like the most god-awful food you ever had in your life. So it, it's really, really, really hard to find food that you like and I've lost a lot of weight. And uh, that's pretty much the update through the start of week three. And I gotta go ahead and shut this off because it's getting hard to talk and getting sore. So thanks for watching.